A prisoner of war exchange? Yes, I do. Full name. Ivan Alexandrovich Arishenko. Date of birth, December 24, 1985. Where are you from? The city of Dimitrov, in the Donetsk region. Yes, since 2016, it has been renamed to Mernograd. Wasn't the city under occupation? No. This recording was specifically made to be uploaded on YouTube for a broad audience, as well as to provide a perspective from the Russian side, where you will be transported. It's also intended to facilitate your acceptance for exchange. In essence, do you enjoy conversing, socializing and what is this? Publication. Yes, you can. Can you take off your baseball cap? No problem. Tell me everything that happened. What happened? Initially, local residents discussed the situation. What was going on and where? What was flying and from where? And what was disappearing into the sky? Some events, indeed, could not be captured on a phone. Yes, that's right. I once took a picture of a car there. What exactly? What exactly? Cars moving on the highway and similar scenarios. Okay, what else? So that I don't. For instance, a convoy of equipment was en route there. How did they contact you, in terms of? With whom did you start corresponding and why? They didn't reach out to me, instead, I managed to find like-minded individuals on my own, so to speak. That's the first point. Secondly, not only were there people from that side in these chats, but also from our side, the Ukrainian side. It's clear, both sides. I was not attempting to locate specific military personnel. Okay. I spoke with people, civilians. Okay. Why should the movement of equipment be reported to civilians? I shared information about the car convoy. Why report it to the civilians? A convoy of high-wheeled jeeps drove by, and I became intrigued. I wanted to photograph them to showcase the diversity of vehicles. Okay, let's talk about curiosity. It was curiosity. If there is a court judgment, then there are your letters, pro-Russian statements, and so on. Yes, such things do exist. What else have you written or talked about besides technology? Apart from military vehicles, I lean more towards the Russian side than our own Ukrainian side because I'm not satisfied with our current government. The country is fine, but I'm not pleased with the government. Are you completely satisfied with Russia? More. Are they all okay? No country can be good at everything. No country can be proficient in everything. Well, in the Donetsk region, we feel a stronger connection to Russia than to America or any other potential destination. Why didn't you leave? Firstly, I was just working at a certain job, hoping to make it through the probation period. And then, are you from Ukraine? What? Preferential length of service and pension receipt in Ukraine? Yes. Ukraine didn't bother you. What does this have to do with the government? And it was my job. Who employs you? Our state provides employment opportunities. I just loved my job. Where did you work? MMRS. What is that? The Paramilitary Mountain Rescue Service. Mountain Rescue Paramilitary Service, Shoulder Straps? I am just a simple private. Our military involvement was only on paper, and I was satisfied with this job. I started this job back in 2008, that is, when everything in our country was peaceful, calm, and amicable towards our neighbors. Why has our country become troubled? Due to the coup d'etat. I got it. 2014. Coup d'etat? Yes. What happened next? Why wasn't there peace? Others came to power and started. Did Russia annex Crimea? Yes. Russian equipment along with so-called volunteers in Donbass? I didn't see them there. You just weren't interested. Did you know they were close to Kiev? 2022? Yes. yes. What were their actions inside? They were fighting a war. Yeah. Why? The reasons for their presence there are unclear to me. So, you understand what was happening in Donbass, one region of Ukraine, but not in Kiev. They also attempted to seize power through a coup d'etat. What is your understanding of a coup d'etat? Change in leadership. Yes. Could you please explain the result of the change in leadership? As a result of the people's uprising. For a coup d'etat to occur, they would have had to confront Yanukovych with weapons and declare, we are the presidents now, you are no longer the president. 
Where is the coup d'état? I mean to say that one group of bandits was supplanted by another in power. This is a distinct issue. Why do you favor Russia over Ukraine? Why do you endorse Russia's invasion of us? After all, the maiden protests happened in our country. We would have figured it out somehow. Why didn't you resolve the internal conflict yourself? If this is an internal conflict, what is Russia's role in it? If you wish, you could ask the opposing side to evacuate you. I, Ivan Alexandrovich Arashenko, a resident of the town Dimitrov in the Donetsk region, am sympathetic towards the Russian world. If there is an opportunity to relocate me to Russia, I am willing to do so. Full name? Yevgeny Vitalievich Gashkovich, 1977. Darling, where are you from? Rodinsko town, Pokrovsky district, Donetsk region. June 8, 1977, convicted under Article 436, Parts 2 and 3. What? This is a justification for the aggression of the Russian Federation and a glorification of its orchestrators. Justification for war? Yes. Do you voluntarily agree to the publication of our conversation? I agree. Could you please tell us for which actions you were convicted? Distribution of articles by pro-Russian journalists on the Adnoklasniki network, likes, shares. Only online activities i.e. not physical. How much were you paid? I didn't receive any money. That was my perspective on the situation. Have you lived under occupation? My ideas. Under Russian occupation? Yes. No. Have you always lived in Ukraine? Yes. What were you doing? Minor, 23 years old. What exactly did you publish and write there? I didn't write or comment on anything. What did you do? I just liked or shared posts. What were these publications? Their content. Articles by Russian journalists, such as Vasilyev. Maybe Yuri Podolyak and his military video reviews. All right, I understand. Essentially, what you did was support Russian aggression. The article is clear, and the nature of the accusation is clear. What is the sentence duration? Five years. Did you plead guilty? Yes. Did you agree to the deal? I underwent two trials. In the first, I received a suspended sentence. The court handed you a five-year sentence. Why back Russia if you're the perpetrator? I believe that historically, it is more beneficial for Ukraine to align with Russia rather than Europe and America. Why? I prefer no interference from the US, NATO, or the EU. Why? As their proxies, they have essentially sold off Ukraine during the years of independence, its industries, its land. Trustees? Yes, representatives of the West. Which production facilities have been sold? In Ukraine, there is a frequent turnover of power and shifts in policy direction. For instance, if you recall Kravchuk, he began transferring nuclear weapons to Russia. Kuchma continued this work. We could say that these were presidents who were loyal to Russia. What happened after that? Who? Everyone else. Yushchenko. Yanukovych, Yushchenko, and others. That's what I believe. Okay, Yushchenko was quite pro-Western. Yanukovych was entirely pro-Russian. I don't know. Maybe. So. But still, why? In recent years, we have been actively advocating for joining NATO. Because the EU has a higher standard of living. NATO has higher military standards than Russia. Which I believe is now hard to deny. Observing how Russia is waging war. And how we are fighting without NATO's full support. But only with limited NATO equipment. Have you visited the European Union? No. I was not. Provide arguments explaining why Russia might be considered superior to the European Union. What's better about them? Production. Roads, pensions, and salaries are higher in the EU. What advantages does Russia have over the EU? The social status is equal now. Okay. Roads. Just like anywhere else, as they say, the main roads are decent, 
let's not talk about the rest. Let's not mince words. It's quite difficult to find a poor quality road in the EU. Basically. In the European Union, perhaps, yes. I mean, the situation in Ukraine is currently the same. Ukraine is neither in the EU nor in Russia, thankfully. You say, I support us aligning with Russia, not the EU. Here, I present to you the reasons why I favor the European Union over Russia. Did you know that 30% of Russia is not supplied with natural gas? I know. A country dependent on gas pipelines. Gas fields. We don't have gas available everywhere either. But we don't live in gas fields, they survive on gas and oil. Meanwhile, there are regions where people still do not have access to toilets. Why is Russia superior to the EU? Historically and ethnically speaking. Almost all of Ukraine is comprised of descendants from Rus, descendants of this nation. However, they only represent a portion, and it is not distinctly identified in any way. Why should we merge with them and live under their rule as a unified country when we have our own nation, which is 99 and 9 percent, as you put it, Rusins? I maintain my viewpoint. I have endeavored to clarify that the Western mindset, particularly the American one, distinct from the European perspective, is not compatible with ours. I have spoken to at least 500 Russian prisoners of war and their relatives, and they all share similar experiences. Why did you come here? He has no motivation, purpose or comprehension. There is also a lack of motivation when talking with their mothers and wives. We are just ordinary people. We were told to go, so we went. Aspire to this mentality? No, thank you. Someone knew where they were going and why, but they remained silent. Indeed, there are three reasons. Money, enslavement due to poverty, and debt and mortgage. They are told, leave, or we'll seize your apartment. They are enticed by the prospect of earning 200,000 instead of the current 40,000. The second argument, either leave, or we will imprison you. If a hundred thousand people refused, the war would cease, but everyone goes because they are enslaved. And the third argument is, of course, what Skabiva, Solovio, and Podolyaka have stated on TV and YouTube. They go to war after being fed with ample propaganda. They don't reason like you because they don't analyze, they merely sit like zombies, observe, and march off to war. Is there really nothing to aspire to? That's not what this is about. My intent is to escape, construct barriers and fences to evade confronting them. It's not merely a lack of ambition, but a preference to remain distant from them. Forty years ago, everyone was like family and had many relatives. Forty years ago? Yes. Were we brothers? The mood wasn't like that back then. Do you remember the first and second instances of the Holodomor? Over thirty to forty years ago. Were we brothers? Stalin was a unique personality. I remember. I don't know who stands out there. What do you know about the Holodomor? Did it occur in Ukraine? Please refrain from discussing events in other countries and concentrate solely on Ukraine. Indeed, food was intentionally held back in warehouses and wagons, and for some reason, grain was not delivered to its intended destinations. How did your Soviet regime come to be? encircling entire villages and neighborhoods, taking the last grain from every household. In families with five children, it's reported that one child is caring for four others to ensure their survival. Do you have any idea what it means to harm your brother? That's what I don't understand. And so it happened. So why should we love them? Yes, then everyone suddenly became brothers, friends, supposedly. How and why did it happen? First question. The mindset cultivated there is a different issue. When individuals are so suppressed that they voluntarily start forming bonds. Three, what did this result in? Somehow in the 90s, everyone split up and no one shed a tear over it. What will we have in total? Perhaps people like you might contemplate whether it's worth it to like and share posts on social networks like Odnoklasniki, Vkontakte, and similar platforms, 
or perhaps it's better to refrain. At least, if this conversation has any impact on them, then your efforts here are not in vain. You are their own in Russia. Isn't it people like you they came here to protect? Yes. Did Putin mention people like you? It's possible. Including, as I say, one in a thousand. They didn't protect you adequately and you ended up in prison. Now you can call them your own. Well, let them have you. Yevgeny Vitalievich Gashkovich, 78 years old, convicted by a Ukrainian court under Article 436, Part 2, Section 3 of the Criminal Code of Ukraine for justifying the actions of the Russian Federation and supporting its orchestrators. I request the relevant authorities to arrange my exchange for Ukrainian civilians imprisoned in Russia and my extradition to the Russian Federation. Your name is Andrei Anatolievich Gimjin. Date of birth? June 20th, 1968. Where are you from? City of Novomoskovsk. City of Novomoskovsk? Yes. Do you want to swap this? I want. Do you have relatives in Russia? Can you confirm? No. Why didn't you write? What were you accused of? I messaged the guys from St. Petersburg online, informing them that the schools were closed and the military had been deployed there. I specifically mentioned school number two, where my father worked. That's all. Was there a shooting? No, it wasn't. Prison time? Do you realize that people could have died? I understand. Are you happy? No, of course not. Why would you want to do that? I just explained the current situation to them in a friendly manner. I didn't provide them with specific details. A friendly relationship with a stranger? We became close through football. Would you mind if we publish our conversation? I don't mind. You agree. Do you understand now? Ah, uh, sure. That's good. It's simply posted so that people like you can understand that it's serious. Disclosing the location of a military unit or military equipment, the movement of military equipment, or the general location of Ukrainian troops to another party is a grave matter and you will be held accountable for it. I was found guilty. Ask them to take you away from here. I agree to the prisoner of war exchange.